Hey, and good morning from outside of Cincinnati, Ohio, where uh, we have a free day in Cincinnati today. Uh, we did the zoo in Kings Island yesterday. About 20 minutes from Kings Island is something called Entertainment Junction, which advertises itself as the world's largest model train display. Uh, there's a fun house in here as well. This is something I've seen in brochures. Uh, I get the hotels by Kings Island. I'm like, do you know what? One of these days, we're going to do it. Today is it's that day. day. Uh, I go by the legend, joined by my wonderful girlfriend, Molly, and let's go check out Entertainment Junction. Fantastic name. Uh, upon walking in, really nice. Like, it is. It's much better and well themed on the inside than I expected it to be. Very cool. And of course, with it being model train. You have a model train. Yep. And we made it into the model train area. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be very large. Looks like there's going to be lots of buttons to play with as well. Uh, very interesting. And like, I, there's kind of like a a different thing. Like, can you find all these things, including a dinosaur? Who did that one? Oh, you... Maybe. Who knows? The train displays are starting to get much, much larger. I guess it's a Civil War Army Depot. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's neat. They've got like little running waterfalls of various sizes. And lots of levels of trains. Right, you've got a train coming through. It's going to go right over the pedestrian path here. Pretty cool. That is neat. I found a duck. I love how it goes like in and out of the mountain. This section has a seaport. I really like these. It's a tough to try and find everything. Molly, your eyes were very good as you found the dinosaur. The dinosaur. He blends in with us. Sorry. He does. And thanks to the super zoom, we can find the dinosaur. Cool section here with the trains going under or over a big gorge. I think we'll probably pass on the Children's Imagination Junction. Big playground area. Uh, look at the tree with the cloth bears in it. Yeah, that, it looks like it's like a little merry-go-round ride that the kids can go on. They also have... Toys. Uh, yeah, a, they, they advertise it as the world's largest Thomas and Friends collection of toys. I like this section because you have the sea into tunnel where the train's going to come by. Sort of shows you how those tunnels are made. I believe this is the last time we'll be in the early days of railroading. Oh, look at that little tiny car. No, it's so cute. But that's the end of the early section of railroading as this tunnel takes us into the middle period of railroading of the 1940s. How many dinosaurs? One. We found one dinosaur. We haven't been looking. All right, we've got to that middle period of railroading. You can see the towns and cities have been uh, much more developed, along with them having cars and firehouse sounds. Love the little streetcar that goes through the town. Is done up as a big coal mine. You can see the coal cars coming through up there. I think this is pretty cool. There's a railroading museum down here, but on top there is more model railroads. And if I turn around, you get another shot of that city area and a big train station. Lots and lots of detail, of course, in an exhibit like this. Molly pointed this out, I didn't even notice this. Like a spinning Coca-Cola billboard. There's a button here that operates the coal truck dump. Might as well hit the button and see what happens. And there it goes. Oh, that's cool. Very, very cool. If you step outside, 
there is a miniature railroad you can ride. Look at how quaint that is. Look at the face. And it has a face. That's really neat. Well, I gotta hit the button for the aerial tram. And look, there it goes down the mountain. Uh, very similar to something like uh, over Gatlinburg. Yeah. Which will be up pretty soon. Uh, we'll be in Gatlinburg in about three weeks. That's been, that might have been my favorite button yet. Just another view of this side of the town. Oh, that's fantastic. It's even got its own drive-in movie theater. Yep, and it looks like it's starting the show. We've got a bench right out of a train station. But we're gonna head upstairs to the Overlook and the old Tony display. Press button to operate rides, I think I will. When you come upstairs, you get a big overview of what is labeled as the world's largest model train exhibit. In the upper level is also a model of Pony Island, uh, the classic Cincinnati amusement park. And the roller coaster actually works. It goes really slow on the big curve. And it speeds up on the return run. Big Helix Finale. I mean, I'm a huge theme park fan anyway, but I absolutely love this. Uh, you can push the different buttons and then the different things go. And you can also learn about the rides, like the carousel. Well, that is actually now at Kings Island. We saw it yesterday. Here it goes. We'll say the, uh, the building is in Kings Island a little bit prettier. Check out the tumble bug, a ride that is not very common anymore. Take a look at the turnpike cars. It goes very quick. Park had a classic railroad. And here goes the wild mouse roller coaster doing wild mouse things. You can see the car is going into the dark ride haunted house. As well as a ride very similar to like the, the Zephyr at California Adventure. I think that one's my favorite one. Yeah. I wonder if this is supposed to be like a flume ride over here. I think so. There's a flume ride button, but I have Up, here it comes. Oh, okay. One thing that's really neat about the display is every, I don't know, five or ten minutes, the lighting will change from daytime to nighttime and then back to daytime. From the upper level by the waterfall, there is a barn with the classic Sea Rock City plastered on it. Rock City is a tourist attraction in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Really nice. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. You've got a functioning turntable. That train just came on the turntable and now it's spinning. I'm guessing it's gonna go into slot number three here. All right, it has stopped and there it goes. Uh, there's also a funicular over there. And it just became daytime again. It is now time to move into the modern period of railroading, the 1970s to the present. Pretty neat, there's kind of like a green screen souvenir thing where you can stand over there and get your picture taken. And we made it to modern times, obviously lots of tall buildings, and more modern cars. Molly, a wonderful detail you just noticed. Or corporate function. Okay, stop it. Big elevated walkway. And then down below, there's a subway station. And there goes the subway. 
you hit this button down here, and all the way up there, the wind turbines start moving. We're visiting in October, and it's interesting because different parts of the cities are indeed decorated for Halloween. This tree reminds me of the tree on the Disney Cruise Lines for Halloween. Yes, in or the lobby? I would say the old tree that used to be at Adventureland on Long Island. There you go, there that too. Some more fun stuff in the city area. Uh, big building for MSC. We'll be on a MSC cruise ship in about two weeks? Yeah. Three weeks, something like that. Two weeks. Two, two. Yeah, uh, this is awesome. They even have a little small replica of the Dent Schoolhouse, which is a, a famous haunted house here in the Cincinnati area. I dare you to push the red button. Sure, let's see what this does. Oh, uh, it turns on the spookiness. Uh, that's something I really wanted to do. Just not going to have time while we're in town. Also, you can see all the little costumes that people are wearing. Like there's Batman, uh, Sully from Monsters, Inc., <laughs> and the Gargoyles from Hunchback of Notre Dame. Also a big space needle. We made it to the next section. And lots of interesting stuff here. Like I love the revolving restaurant that is spinning on top of the hill. And there is a hot air balloon. It's great. Uh, there's also an Amish farm. I talked to one of the gentlemen that work here and the Amish are, uh, uh, it's very popular with the Amish. A lot of them come on bus tours to this place. And the balloon, I love how the balloon goes like all the way up in the air. Another section of track that goes over you. Some more stuff out in the country. A uh, very interesting place. Other neat facts about it, there's a two miles of model railroad track. Operates the train on the fastest track. All right, let's, let's like, we've got more trains coming through. Doesn't seem to be moving quite any faster than any of the other ones. Unless we're talking about this guy here, maybe that one is going a bit quicker. There's a mountain area with somebody para paratrooping and base jumping and a big elk at the top. That book, <laughs> that book is the first thing I put on the layout when we started decorating. Oh, really? Because I wanted that spot because everybody else got it. <laughs> <laughs> got a crane operating over here. And just some more of the fascinating details of this place. Like this train yard over here, it's got golf carts and uh, sea deers. That is going to get replaced real soon when it's winter time with snowmobiles and plows and things like that. Oh, hey, that... The whole thing moves. Yeah. Cool. Kind of neat. With the train yard, you got like an air traffic control that's tower. That's so cool, they're putting it on the truck. Oh, that's so neat. Yeah, so that picked up off the train is now getting dropped on the truck. And that'll do it for the model train area. Something that's really neat for kids. At the beginning, you could grab a step stool and then you return it here. Now we're going to head into the amazing fun house. Amazing. Yeah. All right, Molly, we're inside the fun house. Looks like we could go to a whole bunch of different rooms, crazy capers, curtain chaos, crown college, mirror maze, outer limits. Where are we going to start? There's so many. Pick one, pick one. Uh, let's go with curtain chaos. It's right in front. Molly, lead the way, curtain chaos. You know, I feel like curtain chaos is just walking through curtains. A lot of curtains. Not sure how heavy it is on the chaos. <laughs> uh, the curtain chaos is definitely kind of interesting. I like this. Open up this one. Hey, are you lost? And it's just a wall. <laughs> more curtains, more chaos. Lots of curtains. They're heavy. Oh, now you're in a room full of punching bags. Kind of fun. You don't know what's going to be around the doors. Room of various funhouse mirrors. I expect a curtain cast to be like the size of a closet. It is really long. Yeah. Now we're gonna head into Clown College. Oh, I can see it's a bunch of like optical illusions on the wall. And kind of scary looking clowns. So the weird looking clowns, they have buttons you can press. If they happen... <laughs> or this one. This one's the best. 
It blows its nose on you. <laughs> Alright, it's an optical illusion room. Where Molly's gonna get really small. Aren't you excited the kind of places I take you to? I, yes. <laughs> it's kind of a never-ending mirror hallway. Alright, the tilt room is next. And uh, this is very tilty. I like for some reason the umbrella spinning around on the ceiling. The tilted room, I think it made both Molly and I dizzy. Yes, and normally those don't. Into the mirror maze. Okay, oh, there's two different entryways. Molly, why don't you go entry A and I'll go entry B. That's interesting. All right. Yep, it's a lot of me's. I wonder if we end up meeting up with Molly or they're completely separate. Molly, there you are. Molly, Molly. Oh, she's not responding to me. She's in another dimension, probably. Next up, something called the Outer Limits. Journey through the black hole. Our journey to the Outer Limits begins with uh, lasers. Ah, uh, okay, and then it's one of these spinning vortex tunnels. These are pretty disorienting. But between the tilted room and this thing, I might have to sit down. And the, uh, the vortex tunnel took us into outer space. In more outer space, this time with like spinning planets. As we move on through, uh, I, don't, I don't even know what this stars? Probably stars. And then a room that's very dark. A very dark room in. Oh! Well, that probably terrifies children. I was unaware that black holes are indeed crushing, and it looks like a classic Halloween haunt effect the, known as the birth canal. Looks like if you're visiting during Christmas time, there's a Christmas room. But where it's time for us to go into the last room in the funhouse, the crazy caper. Looks like the theme of this one, we gotta try and find the ringmaster's keys, but not set off the alarms. Heading on in and... It's, it's a hallway of parts. Can you grab the key? I... See if you can grab the key. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I cannot. Looks like there's a projection game. We have to try and step on gifts. Like that one was a Barbie. Another Barbie. Let's see. A lot of Barbies. A lot of trucks. There's a transformer. A truck. And I think the idea is like one person is one person is green. One person is red. Up there's Santa. Oh, that's pretty fun. I was doing update. It switches between different games. I think with this one, you have to try to step on these dragon guys to defend the castle. Oh, do we find the key? Oh, it's uh, going all footsy wootsy on my feet. Ah, uh, there's the key. We got it. We have gotten the key. Also in the funhouse area, there's a miniature circus. Very much reminds me of, I think it's the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago that has a, a miniature circus display. The next section of the attraction is the Great Train Expo. Interesting stuff, like there's a giant collection of marbles. Fun interactive here where you kind of fling the marble up and it's going to drop down and you're going to score some points. See how Molly's going to do? 10 points. Wah, wah, wah. Try two, maybe she'll do better. Go on the same pathway. Now that she has her marble skills all figured out. 20 yeah. points! Pretty fun, kind of like a, a Rube Goldberg style machine. I'm guessing it unloads some, yep, some some marbles, and then they go down the tours. Probably fascinating. Oh yeah, these things are great. That one went on a little jump, up, the, and it fell down. No, I think that's the way. Oh, that's it supposed down. to do. Yeah. Okay. It's back to wheel. Oh. 
in this area. There's a special Halloween train exhibit. Look at all the, the goofy guys in the back. And this is going to go past the dinosaur and get eaten by a giant jack-o'-lantern. There's an animatronic bin that was talking a minute ago. Halloween song. There he goes. Well, have you gone through the trick or treat manner yet? When you go through For Halloween time, they do something called trick or treat manner. It very much feels like a, uh, a haunted house, but with no, no scare actors in it. No, but they kids can get candy. <laughs> There's a, a skeleton kind of guy. We've made it to a cemetery. We found the best candy. We found the best candy. Oh, that's kind Tiny of... Wits. Tiny Tim. Who that's did sad. not die. Who did not die. Nope, not a fan of this one. Spiders. They're friendly, happy, neon spiders. But they're still spiders. The kitchen has a major roach problem. As the skeleton family sits down for a nice meal. I love their glasses. Yeah. Then it looks like it finishes with a little Halloween village kind of area. And of course, like most attractions, there is indeed a gift shop. Uh, kind of a lot of custom shirts. That, that one's actually pretty solid. And that'll do it for Entertainment Junction. Hey, a pretty cool place. Uh, really expensive. We bought it on Groupon. We got a Groupon for like $11 each. Yeah. The normal tickets, I believe, are around 16. But yeah, it, it, it's really cool. Um, if you're coming to the Cincinnati area, looking for something a little bit different to do, definitely check it out. I would say, you know, would I prefer going to Kings Island or going to see Fritz and Fiona? Yes, but this was really cool and I'm happy we went. If you have any questions about Entertainment Junction, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. Uh, Molly, our flight just got delayed two hours, so we might have time to go to the spooky haunted house. Can we go to the spooky haunted house? I guess. It's only in an abandoned creepy school. Oh, Look at the, the face of enjoyment. <laughs> Do they have uh, Mike and Tully outside? I'll go. Probably not. <laughs> And a quick update, we did end up going when our flight was delayed, and I really enjoyed it. That was an awesome haunted house. 